Dating nowadays isn't always the easiest, right? It's no stranger that men have struggles and women have struggles as well. Dating isn't like it is back in the day where you would meet someone through a suggestion or, you know, even worse, even arranged for you. But yes, while we have way more freedoms and an access of choice nowadays, that means that the rules of the game have changed a little bit. That means that if we're trying to find something a bit more substantial, we're gonna have to play by slightly different rules. And I'm gonna go through those for you right now. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kit, your personal dating coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna go through four rules you need to live by, ladies, when you're dating the modern man. But before we get into that, you know I always love hearing from you. So come find me on Instagram, drop me a message, or if you wanna get a private session with me, just click the link below. Okay, now let's get into the video. So the first rule that you must, must live by as a golden rule, ladies, when you're dating today is use a want of commitment as a way of vetting the men you choose. Honestly, it's astounding at how many women waste time on guys who never wanted something serious with them. Guys who are just looking to play around, guys that aren't looking to settle down yet, guys who don't even actually want to date or actually want to be seeing anyone, but because maybe he's super attractive, maybe because he's super successful, or all these other things, women can waste a lot of their time dealing with these guys, i.e. being engaged with them, having sex with them, doing all these things, when the guy had zero intention of actually taking them seriously or better yet, he hasn't even expressed that he's open to something serious. Now I get it, when you're on the first date with a guy, you don't wanna be all, so what are you looking for? You want a relationship? That's a bit too much, right? It's a bit too forward, okay? And even for the guy who wants that, that might scare him off a little bit. However, within the first few dates, and there's nothing wrong to see if you vibe with the person, within the first few dates, the question of, okay, what are you looking for should definitely come up in conversation, or at least what are you open to? Now, here's the thing. Sometimes a guy can express, oh, he's not looking for anything serious, but because maybe a girl likes him a little bit too much, she thinks she can change his mind. And please do not fall into this trap. What's really important is that a guy expresses that he is open to having something serious right now, or better yet, that he is looking for something serious right now and the reason it's so important that we establish this early on is so that you don't waste your time use wanting a commitment part of the vetting process as to which guys you should be investing your time in because it's all good to find a guy who ticks all your boxes but if he's not looking for a commitment if he isn't open to anything serious then there's no point in you even wasting your time with him there's no point in you even investing in him there's no point spending time with him having sex with him there's no point doing any of that because you're not compatible in what you're looking for. So promise me that you'll do that for yourself. Part of the vetting process for guys that you are going to engage yourself with, making sure that they are open to having something serious and substantial. This next rule that honestly, I think more of us need to incorporate is start listening to advice from people who are in relationships. I know when we're single and we're going out and we're mingling, we tend to only mingle with people who are single like us. And there's nothing wrong with that. It makes sense because those are the people who are gonna be up for doing fun things, who are gonna be up for meeting new people and socializing. That's great. But if you're in a situation with a guy and you're dating a guy and you want it to go further with him and you're working on building the foundation of your relationship, it is best to ask advice from not the people who are your single friends who are gonna get you out to meet other singles but the people who are in relationships that are where you want to be we take this approach with career we ask the people who are where we want to be we ask them okay what did they do to get there what is the foundation that they built that enable them to have this thing that we want and too often i see terrible terrible advice given from single friends to their friends who are maybe involved with something and then that thing ends. Something Patrick Bet David once said is that we're all recruiters, right? That we like to recruit to our community. Yes, single people like to recruit to the single community. People in relationships like to recruit people for the relationship community. If you're trying to get into the relationship community, then you need to take advice from the people who are in that. Now here's the thing, I'm not saying every piece of advice your single girlfriends give you is terrible, but what I think is really important is that if you start seeking advice from people who are in something, then you can compare and think, okay, which one is actually gonna work for me? Most likely, it's gonna be this one. 
This next golden rule that we all need to start doing is communicating your needs to a man. When we get involved with someone and we start dating them and we're having fun, subconsciously, we start to put expectations on that person, right? We start to expect them to do certain things. We start to expect them to message us every morning. We start to expect them to, you know, remember certain events that we've told them. And of course, if that person likes you, these things are probably naturally going to happen. But the issue tends to arise is when when we have a subconscious expectation of them and they don't fulfill that expectation and then we get hurt or we get upset or we feel rejected and this is why it's so important that as you start having something with someone it's good for you both to express what your expectations are what your standards are moving forward so for example a very common one is that sometimes people like to be in constant communication people like to text every day it doesn't have to be constant but people like a touch in every day and then when somebody doesn't text them for one two three four days that other person can feel hurt or rejected so it's really important that we start to express what our expectations are or for example example if you're dating someone you've been dating someone for an extended period of time now and you're at a point where you only want to be seeing them and you would like them to only be seeing you then express that to them express to them saying hey look for me this is going really great but for this to move forward I need to know that we are exclusive because what you don't want to happen is you don't want to hope that he's already like that and have this expectation but then one of your friends sees him out with another girl and then you kick his door down and also if we're being honest this stops a guy from guessing with you it stops him trying to guess okay what is it that she wants what is it that she expects from me what is it that she needs from me what are her needs instead of him just trying to figure it out and guessing and maybe getting it wrong if you just openly express say hey this is what i like this is what works for me then that builds a roadmap for him to show love and affection to you and this next rule, which is less of a rule, but more of an understanding that the higher value a guy is in your eyes, the more you're going to have to do to claim him for yourself. Now, this may be a bit of a hard pill to swallow, but this is a reality of life. If there's a guy that you find very desirable, you feel he brings a lot of great things to the table, especially if you know that other women may want him as well. It's not necessarily trying to think about the other competition, but it's understanding that if he brings a lot to the table he's going to want that reciprocated in a partner we can't say hey i want you to bring all these things to the table to the relationship but then you just get me then we're not reciprocating that we're not bringing the same level of things and it doesn't have to be the same things it can be things in different areas and a lot of the time especially with men and women a lot of the time there'll be some things that men look for that are different compared to what women look for we know this, but the more a man brings what you want, the more it's gonna be important for him, for you to bring what it is that he likes, bring things in areas that he values. So if we're gonna take the most common example, let's say you've started dating a guy who you see as a high quality guy. You know, he's high value, as we like to say. Really good questions to ask yourself that are gonna make him notice you and really see value in you is, okay, is there a way I can add value to his job or his career? Is there a way that I can help make his life easier in certain ways? Are there things that I'm really good at that actually help fulfill his needs? Of course, this isn't a one-way street. It's not that you do everything for him, but if you are dating him and you're wanting to make him yours and you feel he's a really high quality guy, then there are gonna be things ideally that he will do for you. And it's important that we know how to reciprocate these things in areas that he values, because that's what's gonna get you the guy. Or even better yet, you can ask him, hey, what is it that you like? What is it that you value in a partner? What is it that you like about me? What attracted you to me? Or even, here's a really good question you can ask him. What is it about the women in your life that you value the most? And this is a perfect question because if you're looking to be a woman in his life, then he's just giving you the secret to do that. If you're looking for a guy who sparks up your love life, make sure you subscribe to this wonderful tribe. And as always, keep it slick. Ha.